In the heart of Anatolia, nestled in the embrace of time itself, lies Aspendos, a celestial tapestry woven with the threads of ancient tales. In the quaint village of Belkis, within the Seric district of Antalya province, this ethereal city whispers secrets that only the wind dares to carry. Behold the majesty of Aspendos, where history and stones entwine in a dance as old as the stars. A symphony of echoes from the Roman Empire, its legendary theatre stands as a testament to the resilience of time. Like a sentinel of antiquity, the theatre's stones breathe life into the city, inviting thousands of pilgrims from across the world to witness its grandeur. The air in Aspendos carries the fragrance of aqueducts that have quenched the thirst of forgotten generations, and the silent whispers of structures that have weathered storms both earthly and celestial. It is a sanctuary where each cobblestone bears witness to the footprints of emperors and dreamers alike. Aspendos, a celestial ballet of history, enchants the beholder with the delicate choreography of its ancient aqueducts and the eloquence of its storied architecture. Here, the ruins are not remnants of a bygone era, they are poets reciting verses of a time when gods walked among mortals. In the embrace of the Mediterranean, Aspendos sits as the unrivaled pearl, glistening with the tears of time. Its well-preserved historical tapestry is not merely a canvas, but a living mural that beckons visitors to traverse the corridors of the past. As the sun kisses the ancient stones, they whisper tales of conquest, love and the eternal dance of existence. Aspendos, the timeless custodian of Anatolia's soul, awaits those willing to surrender to its embrace. Step into its realm, where the past and present converge in a poetic dance and let the echoes of antiquity guide you through the corridors of eternity. In the cradle of time, where the echoes of ancient tales reverberate through the stones, there lies the sacred ground of Antalya Aspendos Uranieri. In the hushed whispers of millennia-old coins, the city reveals itself as Estvedia, a name etched in the currency of the 5th and 4th centuries BCE, a city that, like Sai, dared to mint its own destiny. Let us journey to an era when Aspendos, a member of the Attica Delos Maritime League, rose to prominence in the year 468 BCE. It was a time when the very river Eurymedon that gracefully cradled the city's feet witnessed the humbling defeat of the Persian fleet by the hands of the Athenian hero, Cimon. In the year 333 BCE, the great Alexander welcomed envoys from Aspendos. With a condition as delicate as the dance of shadows on ancient walls, he spared the city, demanding only the tribute they once offered to the Persian king. Yet, as Sillian succumbed to the siege, Aspendos faltered on its sworn word. Alexander, relenting on Sillian, turned his gaze upon them. In a pact woven in the threads of fate, they vowed to preserve their city from crumbling stones. But fate, like a masterful storyteller, had more to reveal. As Alexander's footsteps echoed into eternity, Aspendos fell into the embrace of Hellenistic kingdoms. In the year 133 BCE, a chapter turned, binding Aspendos to the tapestry of Rome. Amidst the ebb and flow of Roman sovereignty, the city flourished in the embrace of the 2nd and 3rd centuries CE, casting shadows that danced upon ancient walls. Yet as the ages wove their intricate tapestry, the sands of time yielded to the relentless tide of Arab invasions in the 7th century. The echoes of conquerors faded, only to be replaced by the footsteps of the Seljuks in the 12th century. Within the hallowed walls of the theatre, a fragment of history morphed into a palace, bearing witness to the metamorphosis of Aspendos through the epochs. And so, the stones of Aspendos stand today, guardians of a narrative written in the language of ruins, whispering tales of triumph, betrayal, and the ever-turning wheel of destiny. Let us tread softly upon this sacred ground, for within these ancient stones lie the echoes of a city that danced with the gods and weathered the storms of time, where legends intertwine with the very stones that bear witness to history. There emerges a tale of rivalry that echoes through the corridors of Aspendos, a rivalry that transcends mortal endeavours and becomes the subject of legends whispered by the winds. Amidst the ancient whispers, two architectural wonders, the theatre and the aqueducts, stand as testament to a duel that unfolded in the shadows of love-stricken hearts. As the legend unfolds, the king of Aspendos, 
seeking a worthy suitor for his daughter, issued a challenge to the city's craftsmen. The one who created the most beneficial work for the people would win his daughter's hand. A symphony of ambition resonates as two brothers, architects entwined in familial bonds, embark on a rivalry that would etch their names into the annals of Aspendos. The aqueducts, like serpentine veins, weave through distant lands to quench the thirst of the city, while the theatre, a grand spectacle, captures the very essence of sound with an acoustics that defies the epochs. The king, torn between the beauty of functionality and the allure of artistic grandeur, first sets his gaze upon the aqueducts. Their magnificence does not escape his discerning eye. They are a testament to the ingenuity of those who built them. Yet a fair decision demands more than mere utility. And so, with a heart swayed by the marvels of aqueducts, the king turns to the theatre. The theatre rises like a phoenix, its grandeur reaching celestial heights. The king, enraptured by its size, is further ensnared by the ethereal symphony that transcends the bounds of time. Legends tell of the theatre's acoustics, an enchanting prowess that allows even the faintest whisper to echo from the highest tiers. And then, as the king ascends to the zenith, a voice pierces the stillness. Clear as a mountain stream, the architect of the theatre beckons from the stage. You must marry your daughter to me, are the whisper echoes through the theatre, defying distance and logic. The king, entranced by this divine revelation, succumbs to the enchantment of the theatre's voice that will carry the soulful melodies of Aspendos far and wide. In that moment, the decision is made, a choice that resonates through the ages. The aqueducts, though noble and essential, yield to the siren song of the theatre. The king, moved by the whispers that reach the heavens, chooses Zenon, the architect of the theatre, as the suitor for his daughter. Thus, in the rivalry of love and artistry, the theatre emerges victorious, etching its own tale in the sacred stones of Aspendos. These two magnificent structures are still in existence. The magnificent theatre of Aspendos, which carries the voice of Aspendos far away, continues to host important concerts and festivals today. What do you think? Do you think the king made the right decision? And which work would you have chosen if you were in his place? Aspendos built by the architect Zenon, the son of Theodoros. The theatre was built as a landmark befitting the importance of the city. Located in the lower part of the city, the ancient theatre was built to serve an audience of approximately 15 to 20,000. Aspendos Ancient Theatre is very strong in terms of acoustics as well as audience capacity. After its completion, it is known that the theatre was dedicated to the Emperor's family, especially the local gods of the city. According to the Greek and Latin inscriptions at the entrance of the building, it is thought that the construction costs of the theatre were undertaken by two brothers named Curtius Crispinus and Curtius Auspicatus. The Aspendos Theatre, which has survived from the past to the present, underwent a series of repairs during the Seljuk period. It is possible to see the traces of this repair made during the Seljuk period on the monumental door extension of the exterior facade of the theatre. The ancient city of Aspendos was founded by the Achaeans around the 10th century BC. On a hill on the banks of the Kopruchai, Eurymedon River, in the Pamphylia region between the ancient cities of Lycia and Cilicia. Although the ancient city of Aspendos remained under Greek sovereignty throughout history, the Aspendos ancient theatre, which gave the city its current fame, was brought to the city by the Romans in the 2nd century AD. In addition to the magnificent theatre in Aspendos, there are many other structures worth seeing. The waterway is one of the most important of these, just as the ancient theatre has been preserved to the present day, the city's waterway system is one of the best preserved works. There are water pressure towers at both ends of the arch-shaped bridge, extending up to one kilometre. The arches, which are thought to have been built in the second century AD, and which bring water from the mountains to the north of the city, are an indication of the engineering and technical achievements of the period. With the construction and development of the waterway system, the water needs of the hilltop city could be met more consistently. In addition to the theatre and aqueducts, Aspendos also has an agora unique to ancient Greek cities. The structures in the lower part of the ancient city include the stadium, temple, baths and necropolises, while the upper part of the city includes structures such as basilica, nymphaeum, monumental fountain and exedra.